Kids with guns Kids with guns Take it over By one pay long They mesmerize Skeletons What's up my YouTubies? I'm Corzy from Gaming Legit bringing you Bouncing Panda's second part of his video, part two. I'm sorry for the delay. He is sick, unfortunately, so he's not able to get the dual commentary and he texted me. He's like, go on without me, Corzy. You can do it. And so I'm going to do the commentary by myself. I'm sorry about that. He will, I'll, I'll get his ass in here eventually for a dual commentary of some sorts, uh, whether it's on his gameplay or, you know, just a general discussion about something. He will be on here. I promise you. He's just really, really busy. He works a lot. And he got sick. And he probably got sick because he works so much. Um, but hey, you know what? That's a lot better than being a lazy ass. So, and we talked about that in my last video. Shout out this vid to MLD7415. I don't know what his Xbox Live gamer tag is. MLD, if you're watching this video, uh, leave in the comment section what your uh, gamer tag is, and uh, maybe you'll get some love from some of the subscribers and people watching this video. MLD745 is the shout out for this video because he commented on my last video, and that's how all of these are going to work from now on. If you want to be part of the shout outs, you have to comment on my latest video. And so before I post an another video, I'll go back and watch my most current video, go read all the comments. I read everybody's comments, guys, even though I'm getting close. Excuse me, to a thousand subscribers, which is amazing. Uh, I read every single comment, every single one, until I get like crazy amounts of subscribers. If I ever do, I can read everybody's comments because I get like I don't know, like twelve a day or something like that, maybe more than that. But I check my YouTube channel periodically throughout the day, so it's not that much of a hassle for me. I go and I read every single one of your guys' videos. Thank you so much for supporting me and uh, starting discussions on my YouTube channel, um, commenting on my videos, whether it's uh, everything, every even if it's something thing that you guys are like calling out on me or something you don't like about my videos I appreciate it like it's awesome I take everything for what it is read it I'm not like you know biased or anything like that MLD 7415 is the sub uh, the subscriber shouted out in this video because he's been with me from like early 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 his comment was regarding that he was with me when I was just posting videos on his YouTube channel when I was just starting to get the hang of uh, rendering videos and such and I think I only had like four views on one of my monitors for two channels and somehow he found me um, but I really really like what he wrote in this comments and I wanted to share this with you um, maybe just because I like uh, how he looks at it and maybe um, if I share it with you guys you might you know look at things a little bit differently if you don't look at them differently already he wrote, I just recently got into the Halo series and I was hooked immediately. In my opinion, Halo takes a lot more skill and most of the time the better player gets the kill. Now what I appreciate most about this is not that he's a Halo fanatic like me, but is that he was not with the first games and he's just recently gotten into it. And the reason why I like that is because Modern Warfare 2 guys and Battlefield Back Company 2 guys don't generally like Halo because they're so used to being able to get kills fairly easily that when they go into the Halo franchise, it just gets frustrating when you don't get kills in Halo. And I can understand completely why it's frustrating because when you're so, you're so used to one thing and then you go over to a totally different type of first person shooter that requires so much more skill and like, you know, so much more effort to get a kill it can be extremely annoying because kills will get away from you all the time or they will kill you or your teammates will get the kills it, it's just a totally different type of first person shooter than what modern warfare 2 and battlefield bad company 2 people are used to so i just have to appreciate that so much for someone that stepped outside of his box something that he was used to getting inside of halo and appreciating the game for what it is and seeing that it takes a lot of skill to be successful in halo and people just generally don't don't like Halo or they love it it's like the in-between type of thing so that's cool that's really really cool to see that strat for this video BFBC2 issues was the first one and I'm going to talk about that right now I don't want you guys to get a false interpretation of me just loving Battlefield Back Company 2 and thinking it's absolutely a flawless game. If you've played with me online um, you know I bitch and what do I bitch the most about connection it pisses me the f off it's like it, i get just as pitch, pissed if i'm watching like an nfl football game or 
you know, I'll just leave it at that. An NFL football game and a ref makes a call that you're like, WTF, you piece of shit. Like, how did you make that call? It's the same thing for Xbox Live, you know, when you're playing on the internet. Like, you don't get a kill that you know was a kill. Or you get killed by something that should never have happened. Like, you're completely behind cover and somehow you still died. It's like having a terrible referee. It's super freaking frustrating. I don't get pissed at people I play with, like, not as much, unless you're being a complete douchebag. Or people in the game as much as I get pissed as the internet connection. If it, if you want to hear me bitch, like give me a bad internet connection and go have me go online and try to play competitively, it just pisses me off. And Battlefield Bad Company 2 falls victim to that because it's a server based game rather than a host based game. And there is a massive advantage to that um, because there's no host. And that's one thing I hate about Halo is the host. And if you pull host, you have an advantage over every single person that's in the lobby. And that really 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 pisses me off I don't like the fact that one person is got like a uh, juggernaut status on everybody else and you might agree or disagree with that but I've you know taken so many stills from the theater in Halo 3 of bloodshotting the host in the head with no shield and not getting the kill or putting eight shots into him without getting uh, his shields dropped and he kills me like you know with his first four shots just crazy shit like that that happens when you have a dedicated host and this is server based and so there's going to be connection problems with that um, I don't know which one I like better I right now I tend to like the server based connections rather than a host based connection uh, what do you guys think leave comments about that um, some things, uh, some other things I don't like about this game. I don't like the fact that when you're sprinting around randomly, you'll get snagged on something and you can't move, and it'll cause you to ki get killed all the time. It happens to me all the time. I get killed all the time from just like running, and then suddenly I can't move, or I'm trying to make a jump and like I it gets snagged on something and I can't make the jump when I should be able to make the jump. Or the worst of all, when you get killed by magic bullets, where you get shot. But your skill and how good you are, you're able to get away from that damage and get around a corner before you're dead. But then a second later, while you're behind that cover, you fall. You, you're dead. You die. Like, he kills you. And you're like, WTF? How the hell did he just kill me? I'm completely behind cover. Well, that's that second and a half delay in internet connection. You might, on your screen, be behind cover. But technically, he killed you before you even started sprinting over there. And that's super freaking frustrating to me. Like, because it's like false advertisement on your screen. You don't get credit for your skill. Like, it, you get credit for being whoever has the best internet connection in some circumstances. And that, you know, that really bugs me and pisses me off. But I guess that's just Xbox Live in general. Hopefully, sometime soon, we won't be suffering these problems on online video games but who knows we'll see second strat is other assault rifles now my favorite assault rifle I'll openly say is the M16 it just tends to be the favorite assault rifle in every modern like warfare type of game um, the, I, why I like the M16 more than the M416 or the AN94 is that you can kill people faster and more accurately with the M16 easily. Um, the AN94's accuracy is really high because it is a dual shot, so it doesn't have that extra shot that causes more recoil. But the AN94, even though it's more powerful, it takes more bullets to kill someone. Um, it's just like putting magnum ammo on a sniper. Like, there's no real sensible reason. You're either going to get a one-shot kill or a two-shot kill. Even if you add magnum ammo, if you don't get that one-shot kill, you have to shoot him again, regardless if you have the magnum ammo or not. It's the same kind of thing. It's just how I look at it. The M16, I've kind of tested two weapons. M16 shoots people faster. Or it kills people faster, I should say, because it shoots three bullets rather than two bullets. And so if you don't kill someone with one shot of the M16, you will kill them with two. And there have been times with the AN94 I've had to put three shots in. And you, you just tend to kill people faster with the M416. As far as the last part of the strat, the in-game techniques, again, I, I say this in a lot of my videos, but just pay attention. Go back and watch this video if you're too fixed on my commentary. And pay attention to how he was moving around the map. I think it's massive to pay attention to other people's games. Gameplays. I love watching full gameplays, as you guys know. I like seeing uh, the you know every every step, every jump he makes, every turn, every corner, every route a person makes, how he shoots his gun. It just adds to my skill. It just it's something to put into my game, and it's a totally different play style being exhibited with Bouncing Panda versus my gameplay. Hope you guys appreciated this video. There's going to be a Battlefield Bad Company 2 video coming up soon. 
Um, gonna be a sniper with an ACOG scope. Hope you guys are looking forward to that. I'm Corzy from Gaming Legit. Please subscribe to my videos. Spread the word. God bless. I love you guys. And I'll see you guys later.